The illiterate of the future are not those who can't read or write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Alvin Toffler According to the heliocentric model, the moon is reflecting light from the sun, but that's nonsense. Look, the moon isn't a solid object because you can see blue sky through it during the day. Obviously, it's not a solid. And also along the lines of the moon reflecting light from the sun, if you've ever looked at the consistency of what we've been told to be moon rocks, you will realize quickly that the surface of said moon rock hasn't the reflective capacity to accomplish such a feat of reflecting light from the sun, let alone reflecting light from 93 million miles away. Also, as they tell us, the sun is at that distance, according to the heliocentric model. But that's more nonsense. In addition to that, there have also been multiple accounts of items being passed off as moon rocks that have been found to be fake. Moving along. In the mainstream, we're told that shadows are caused by Earth blocking light from the sun. Sometimes. Other times, the story is that shadow is caused by the angle of the sun. This is used as a means to explain a way why we see different angles of the shadow on the moon when we can see both the sun and the moon in the sky in the daytime. Sometimes you even see a straight shadow across the surface of the moon. And that straight shadow doesn't really line up with that whole curved earth thing, now does it? The explanation of a complete darkening of the surface of the moon, lunar eclipse that is, is because the earth is said to be directly between the moon and the sun during the time of the eclipse. On January 31st, Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles, California did a complete recording of the lunar eclipse going through all its phases. Then they compressed it into a 60 second time lapse. Rather impressive. But towards the end you'll see that the moon goes over the horizon at an angle. While you're watching the video, for some reason or another they uploaded it as if you were watching the video straight up, but once it gets over to the horizon, you realize that you were supposed to be watching it like this. Now, let's go ahead and fix the angle and see uh, right about where these shadows are supposed to be falling. Here, let's do a quick analysis of another video that I saw. It's also made its rounds around the internet. My buddy Ron uploaded this. Ron happens to be on the offensive as well concerning this whole heliocentric deception. Now, in Ron's video, you can see that the sun was starting to come up and the moon was starting to go off into the distance. And yet, the one thing that stood out most of all is the shadow and how the shadow was coming from the top of the moon. What we observed here is the total opposite of what was supposed to be happening. You see, if the sun were being blocked by the curvature of the earth, then the shadow should have been on the lower part of the moon and the light from the sun or the lit part of the moon should have been at the top where the shadow is. It's completely opposite of what we should see according to the heliocentric model and what we've been told. Now, why would they change the angle that they filmed the eclipse? Were they trying to hide something? I personally woke up bright and early to catch the eclipse for myself at about 4.30 in the morning. Yet, the sky was too cloudy to catch a glimpse. Luckily, plenty of people in the Flat Earth community were out in full force to get videos and pictures of the eclipse. However, one video stood out to me when I saw it. And let's take a short look at that video by my buddy Nick. Here we go, y'all. Morning of January 31st. It's getting light out. And to the west, we have the moon in a total... Lunar eclipse, it's blood red. See that? So how can there be a lunar eclipse? How can the, the Earth be causing that uh, when the sun is up over here? See that, the sun, sun rise. See how it's light over there? That's the sun. So wait, if the sun lights up over here, how can it be going down and around the Earth to then block the moon like that doesn't even make sense come on people that just seriously debunks the whole heliocentric model right here right here moon eclipsed up above the horizon to the west
Sunrise to the east. Pretty much destroying that whole idea that the Earth is directly between the moon and the sun. Obviously, that's not the case. Let go of your ego. It's not your fault that you've been lied to. We've all been lied to. From here, spread the truth, expose the lies, and demand answers. This is the Flat Earth Offensive, and you are the resistance.